Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a empties video showing you my beauty trash. Talking about what I finished. And I don't finish a lot of products, let's be honest. So I've got some amazing drugstore skincare in here that I absolutely love. Two body moisturizers that I really love, especially this time of year. Some bath products that I'm really, really into. A couple of duds. It's bound to happen. If you're curious about this makeup look, I'm actually in the middle of reviewing the Lisa Eldridge Foundation, uh, and that will be linked down below because it will be live by now. Um, other than that, if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's get some of the bath stuff out of the way. Wow, okay. I've got two Epsom salts in here, uh, and I definitely wanted to point these out because I talked about the uh, melatonin bubble bath in my last video and I'm sure I've talked about the soothe and sleep before. These are both from Dr. Teal's but they're different. Just in case you go to the store and you're like which one was she talking about? I prefer this one which has the kind of more modern packaging on it in my opinion. The one with melatonin in it. I really love it. I think like I haven't used it in a little while so maybe if I go back to it now it'll have the same effect. But the experts also say just having a routine in the night is helpful. So if you're looking for a really nice Epsom salt soak, uh, this one is good. This one's good too. They're both kind of, they smell the same. Mm, I actually prefer the melatonin one a little bit more, but they are both lavender. I've come around to lavender in the past couple of years for baths and things like that. Um, it's not super powdery or anything. Uh, a body wash that I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite scents from Dove. Uh, this is the Glowing Moisture for Moisturizers for Radiant Skin um, Mango Butter and Almond Butter. Whew, smells so good. I talked about the bubble bath in my last empties. And I actually prefer this to the bubble bath because you get more of the scent, more of the experience. Super creamy. All the Dove body washes are great, but this is my absolute favorite. Oh my god, did I? Oh, I don't think I cut it open because it's all, but it, it's on its way out for whatever reason. It was well loved. <laughs> I only have great things to say about Cake Beauty, and I still do. Uh, they're a Canadian brand available at Shoppers, Walmart. I really love everything I've tried from them, except for this. I didn't even finish this. I'm not gonna lie, it's not empty. This is the Cake, and this is this is like it's got a lot of claims on it here, right? Cake, deserted island totally to die for. Whipped cream shower wash, raw Tahitian coconut elixir. It's got shea butter, coconut oil, sweet almond oil. I just, it just didn't impress me. I love the idea of it being a foam. I've used foam body washes before. I do find that the foams, I guess, and it kind of makes sense that they're not as hydrating, but this one just didn't do it for me. Even like the sensorial experience, the scent. I don't know. That was kind of a dud for me, but I love Cake's uh, Sugar Scrubs. They're some of the best out there. For body lotions, uh, let me talk about... Okay, so I've been using the newer Drunk Elephant AHA BHA body lotion. That is so nice. I'll use that at night. It's good if you have texture on your skin or anything like that. But this is a really good kind of hydrating, nourishing one. Uh, it's the Silly Body Lotion Supercharged to ref, uh, Restore Dull, Dry, and Irritable Skin. Uh, I definitely think it has almond extract in here, but there's coconut, shea, sunflower really really nice it smells like um almond extract to me mango banana ceramides watermelon i'm seeing everything but what i smell but that's where it gets the scent because it says it's free of sulfate silicones essential oils fragrances dyes and drying alcohols and i really love it it's super um like as soon as you put it on your skin it's really really smoothing then, probably my favorite body lotion of all time. So this was sent to me and then I went and repurchased it. And uh, I think that that's definitely very telling because I, you know, I get sent a lot of products, right? Uh, let's be honest. So when I'm sent something and then I go out and buy it again, that, that means something. So this is the Biotherm, and of course it's French, Le Corporel, L'Original. I think it's like body milk is what they're saying. Um, anti-drying body milk with citrus essences, 48 hour hydration. And honestly, honestly, I kind of believe the 48 hour hydration thing. Like you should moisturize every day, ideally. I don't always, um, but this is so good. It looks kind of unassuming. It doesn't look like, it almost looks like it'd be unscented. And I don't necessarily like a lot of scent to my body lotions. If anything, I would prefer potentially no scent or something light like the 
um, drunk elephant one that I just mentioned, but this smells like, it says it has citrus essences in here, and it smells so good. It smells like orange blossom, kind of, um, yeah, it's just a really nice, scent oh it mixes so well with my fragrances that i wear too but i'm telling you nothing has ever made my skin feel as soft as this and continually like throughout the day the next day it really really uh blew me away so i highly highly recommend this it's so freaking good and then for curls oh i have one more bath kind of item in here well it's a shower oil but normally i would mix this in with my bubble bath uh, i love the scent i love the scent of like hemp like products especially when i'm using sort of eucalyptus spearmint those types of things in my bath it just has this oh mm, has this really nice kind of deep cologne scent uh, this is the body shop hemp hydrating protecting shower oil for ultra dry skin so you can also use this as a body wash but honestly i just mixed it into my bath and i really liked it uh, then for curls one of my favorite curl products is the um, miss jessie's multicultural curls uh, and it says it's for multi-textured curls, which I definitely have. I'm sort of 3B, 3C, depending on where you are on my head. The curls are different. Uh, and this is one of my favorite uh, curl products. I love their pillow soft and jelly soft curls. No petroleum, no mineral oil, animal ingredients, animal testing. Um, typically, I've picked this up at Target in the U.S. Haven't been to the U.S. obviously in uh, two years, over two years. So I forget where else you can buy this. I know you can definitely get it online. It can be more expensive that way because this is like a drugstore brand in the US. You guys are so lucky. But yeah, really, really love this. It's kind of like a cream gel, somewhere in between. And then I really like this from Bumble and Bumble. It's from their BB Curl line. This is the three-in-one conditioner. So you can use it as a rinse out, a leave-in, or a co-wash, which I think is really interesting. I only ever used it as a co-wash and I really liked it. Uh, I'll link a video with my favorite co-washes. It's kind of older, but I still stand by all of it. Uh, if you're not co-washing your hair and you have really curly hair or dry hair, I highly recommend it. I'll shampoo my hair probably once a week. And then like if I'm wearing it curly and then any other time I want to wash it, I'll use a co-wash in place of a shampoo and conditioner. It's not a two-in-one or three-in-one or seven-in-one, whatever men are using now. Um, this is like a cleansing conditioner so that your hair gets clean, but it's hydrated. I can still um, detangle and brush my hair while it's in there. And yeah, really, really liked it. On to some awesome skincare. Okay, I have two vitamin C's that I love from the drugstore. These are two of the best, I think depending on your familiarity and your skin with vitamin C, uh, I would definitely recommend either of these. So this, the first one, this is a 10% pure vitamin C. So if you're newer to vitamin C, this is a really great option. I recommend everybody use one every day. Uh, it's really, really good for your skin. You'll definitely see a difference. Since I started incorporating it into my routine uh, a couple of years ago, I definitely noticed the difference and I notice it when I take it out of my routine as well. So this is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. Really great. With vitamin Cs, a lot of the time you want to look for packaging that is not clear because that can kind of compromise the product. Uh, and uh, when the light gets at it, uh, it sort of, what's the word, degrades the product. So it has three essential ceramides and 10% pure vitamin C visibly brightens the skin, evens the look and skin tone, and with protecting the skin barrier as well because you're getting ceramides in there. It's CeraVe, it's still gonna add a little bit of hydration, really nice if you're more sensitive. But if you are looking for a serious vitamin C, one that's gonna be a little bit next level, this one is 20%. It's the Rapid Tone Repair Vitamin C Serum from Neutrogena, and it comes in these little capsules, so you get 30 capsules in here. I will say, like, the price is not the absolute cheapest because, like, you know this is only gonna last you for a month sort of thing, but I love the little capsules, and the formula is really great. It's definitely the more... Um, like the vitamin C from CeraVe is more uh, a typical serum formula. This one is really creamy, I will say that, but I really, really love it. I definitely think it helped with the brightness of my skin. Because I'm used to using vitamin Cs, I like to use one that's a little bit amped up. If you're working um, and you have dark spots, discoloration, melasma, I think this helps with melasma. I'm honestly not that familiar with it, but hyperpigmentation, things like that. Really great vitamin C from the drugstore. Also, one of my favorite moisturizers from the drugstore, I gotta start using this again. Um, I'll probably have to pick it up. This is the Indeed Labs in Ceramide Daily Moisture Cream. This is one of the best moisturizers at the drugstore, in my opinion. Uh, not at the drugstore, in general. 
in general. It doesn't matter where you find it or the price because there's great things everywhere. This is so good. Super hydrating, not heavy. You can use it day or night. I noticed a difference when I used this. They first came out with the Inceramide Night Mask and I love that too. Uh, Indeed Labs is a Canadian brand. They're at Shoppers in Canada, Ulta in the US, Boots in the UK. So they're around. Really beautiful. It's nice that it comes with a pump. Uh, it's it's affordable, like in terms, like, I mean, affordable is obviously subjective, but it's not like on the higher end of some of the drugstore products and Indeed Labs goes on sale as well. I love this so much. Cannot recommend it enough. And then another line that you know that I love from the drugstore is uh, the Olay Retinol collection. I'll link my review to it down below. I had such a great experience with it. So I finally finished up the retinol eye cream, which I really, really enjoyed. But after finishing up the original Retinol line, then I tried the Retinol Max, which is again, if you're looking for something a little bit amped up, uh, and I really love this as well. This is their fragrance-free serum. They also have a moisturizer as well. You can use the serum or the moisturizer, or you can use them in conjunction. Uh, and I definitely uh, recommend uh, incorporating a Retinol into your life, and the only one is a great option. Ooh, let's talk about a couple of sort of masks that I have here. The first one that I used up was the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. I really like these. I like the um, Garnier masks. I think they're really, really good. It's kind of like, I don't want to say it's simple. Like, it's not simple in a bad way. It's simple in a good way in that, like, you're looking for a boost of hydration. I was talking to my friend the other day, and he said, he was like, there's no serum. There's, like, nothing in the world that makes your skin feel the same way as a sheet mask. Because he was, anyways, it was a whole long story. But we were, like, just... We're just spreading some love to sheet masks and i was like i totally agree it really does add this added boost of hydration so this is a really great one very readily available which is nice a sort of higher end sheet mask and one that i find to be so incredibly effective uh, is from naturopathica and i get these at pure and simple which is where i get my facials here in toronto they've got locations all over the city and i would say probably one of the more affordable facials definitely they have monthly deals uh, and i really really trust them so this is the kombucha biocellulose mask and i will say i don't know like i'm sure it's still considered a sheet mask but this material this biocellulose that you see in masks sometimes i find this to be really really good this is probably the creamiest sheet mask that i have ever used so the um garnier is definitely more of like a watery essence light serum this feels more like a cream under this biocellulose mask and it really hydrates your skin also what i'll say is you do get a decent amount of product in here so after i use the mask either i'll use it all at the same time or i'll use it the next morning or the next night and kind of scoop out more of the cream and put it all over my face really really nice i'm not sure where else you can get it but i do get it from pure and simple and they might ship online i'm not sure then I wanted to mention this little sample because I actually really liked it. Um, it's the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. It smooths and refines pores, vitamin B. Now I got this, I think, in a Sephora order. I guess that's the only place I would have gotten it. But I really liked it. For a night mask, it definitely had a more thick texture. It felt really, really good going on my skin. Uh, and I definitely want to test it out more. But I just want to give it a quick shout out because I, I will say that I enjoyed it quite a bit. Now let's get into some makeup items. Oh, one last thing. I did finish up the Luxury Square Cotton Pads from Quo. And last night when I was on my walk, I happened to go into Shopper's Drug Mart. What's new? Uh, and I bought the Shiseido ones. They didn't have a big bag of the Quo. So I got the Shiseido ones, they were $11, so we'll see, so fancy. I finished up a mini of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love these, you know, I love them. Um, one of my favorite lip sleeping masks. This is the, I think the Grapefruit, or is it the original? Might be the original. I've moved on to the back to the Grape Jelly right now, or whatever it's called, no, not Grape Jelly, Gummy Bear, but it smells like Grape Jelly. This was one of my favorite um, primers, one of the ones that I first fell in love with, and I don't think they make it anymore. It's the Origins Original Skin, or at least it's not available on Shoppers. I mean, or Shoppers or Sephora, I think. I'll have to double check, but I did feel like I saw it on their website, but it's the Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. And there might be some in here because it's just really old, <laughs> so I have to get rid of it but it does feel so cool on the skin. It comes out like this weird kind of mousse, but then when you rub it into the skin, it really does just sort of perfect the skin. It feels hydrating. Oh, it still feels really good, actually. But I've had it 
for, oh, I think I got it on my ring light. That went far. But anyways, it's a really beautiful primer. So if you happen to see it or if it's still around, I definitely recommend it. Then I finished up the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. These are my favorite. I did a whole review on all the new sort of scents that are available. Every time I start a video, this is what I'm wearing on my lips. I love it for makeup prep. It's such a beautiful lip balm. I, I don't know that they're underrated because there's just so much to talk about now that it's like everything feels underrated because everything moves so quick and everything's like trending and going so fast. But either way, I really do uh, I love them. This, this is the original. Right now I wear a lot of the mango or whatever that scent is. Then I also finished up, this is really nice and I never hear anybody talking about it. It's the Clinique Pep Start Pout Restoring Night Mask. This is thick. I don't know if it's uh, like petroleum based, but it's allergy tested, 100% fragrance free. Um, and it says you can use it for a five minute mask to prep for makeup or I like to use it overnight. I think it's really nice. It really is so thick. That's why I like it overnight because you wake up and it's still on your lips. So it feels like sort of protected you a bit. Then we have a death in the family. Um, the NYX California Beam and Bronzer. Honestly, I don't even remember what happened to this. It was sort of at the bottom of my empties bin, but I do love these bronzers. I would absolutely use it again. Um, I used mine in the shade OC. It was one of the, one of the first, I feel like, bronzers that had some shimmer in it that I felt looked really good. It doesn't look, um, like chunky, there's no major glitter or anything like that. It just kind of looked bronzy and really beautiful and it comes with a nice shade range. There are shades that are darker than that. And then I also finished up this Pure Fully Charged Mascara. I was super impressed with this. I thought it was really great. Uh, really a ton of volume, super black, like a matte black, uh, just huge lashes. And this is one of my favorite things from Pure. I really love their foundation that came in like 100 shades as well. Uh, again, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it, but um, I loved this mascara. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think their products are like, a little bit more not that like other products aren't eye safe but you know they're like hypoallergenic and things like that pure are they like that maybe 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 not uh, and then I finished up this Maybelline Curvitude liner which definitely looked gimmicky but as someone who sucks at liner for whatever reason it really did work for me I also love a pen style liner it comes with like a little bump in the middle I forget what you were supposed to do with that I didn't do anything with it but it's like a pen style liner I thought it was actually very easy to use um, I don't I think I would go like this I think it just helped me because it was a little curved I don't know but shout out to that because I really liked it then um, I did a little declutter of my nail polish collection if you saw on Instagram recently so a couple of polishes that I'm getting rid of this one actually I think is gonna go in my makeup museum because it's iconic um, if you've been watching my channel for a long time I wore this shade out like there's nothing even left in it the only reason it was in my makeup collection was because I was like I don't want to get rid of it or my nail polish collection so this is one of the like oil infused L'Oreal um, nail polishes in the shade Dimanche Après Midi and I just love it so much. It's the absolute perfect kind of bright light pink. I don't wear a lot of that anymore. I wear more like kind of nudie brownie neutrals, but just so beautiful, great brush on them. Really, really liked those polishes. Then I'm also getting rid of this shade. It's from the summer, I think 2017 Essie collection, um, Blue La La. I have so many blue nail polishes. I like, I've got plenty. And then this is a really old one too, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in a Florable. Again, these are not really shades that I wear anymore and they're super old. And then I'm getting rid of a Nail Teaks Formula 2. This is one of my favorite nail hardeners and bases. I normally get that on Amazon, but I think it's more available than it used to be. Uh, one of my favorite top coats is the SE Gel Couture. That's pretty much empty. And then an old favorite and an old uh, iconic top coat is the Sesh Vite. Um, really kind of plump gel sort of top coat. So I love that too. I'd say my favorite top coats are the Essie, the Sesh V, and the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure top coat that comes. That's what I've been using recently uh, that has the silver packaging. But that is everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you have used up recently. Have you used up any of this? I'd love to know. Um, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!